I'm spending all of my dough. I'm spending all of my cash. All this money that I ever had, I put that shit on my tab. Twelve o'clock. Hello, yeah, yeah, we are new lens. Oh, come on. Make time. Come on, take a bite. Yeah. Huh? You want to try the bomb diggy I'm so excited for this. Bomb diggity. Alright, so we were so hungry that there's probably nothing on the table in the But I still want to show you like what everything is. So first of all, this a rice paper and this one is shrimp. They put some like soy sauce on it. Here we have the barbecue version of it. It's basically the same rice uh, rice paper with um, barbecue pork inside. Um, those are like dim sum staples. This the like the, <laughs> the only one still here is fried tofu. Here we have like three types of spring rolls. This is a is a bun. In Chinese we say a bao zi. But this has barbecue pork inside. So we say ta shu bao. And like it's pretty sweet. It's bomb. Mm -hmm. it, it's freaking bomb. Okay. Here. This we still call it a bao. Okay. A bao means like something wrapped together, I guess. But this is a shaolin bao. Shaolin bao, if you translate it, if you translate it in English, it basically means like small dragon buns. Dragon buns. Yeah, shaolin bao. And this inside, it's pork. I think. Yeah, pork and vegetables. Huh. Bao. Mm. <laughs> so, in this one, people walk with like um, trays, and you pick which you want, then you write it on your, um, on your paper. And yeah, so that's what we're having right now. And we hate so fast, I'm already full. Yeah. Oh my but god. I can still do it. Of course you oh. can. Oh, these are. Uh, these are the. the yu tiao. Yu, yu tiao with, with uh, yu tiao inside. So excited. Yeah, we might get Look at that face. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah. at that face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spending all of my dough. I'm spending all of my cash. All this money that I ever had, I put that shit on my tab. 12 o'clock and I'm fucked up. Oh damn, I'm smashed. I got fine women and fine drinks, and I'm trying to make the shit last. It's Friday. All right, so we got this mac and cheese. This is super bomb. And those, it's like a deep fried cheesecake. I'm gonna taste it, okay? Right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the cheesecake. Oh my god. It's like so milking. Judge Judy on stage. What? That's an analogy. I hope you're proud of me. I've been undoubtedly spending much more than my salary. Offers me hourly. Fuck it, this liquor empowers me. Uh. I'm spending all of my dough. I'm spending all of my cash. All this money that I ever had, I put that shit on my tab. 12 o'clock and I'm fucked up. Oh, damn, I'm smashed. I got fine women and fine drinks, and I'm trying to make the shit last. It's Friday. Thank God, little homie, it's Friday. Right. Let me get it, get it on a Friday. 
Thank God, little homie is fried. Alright, welcome guys. Um I forgot like the last time I did a commentary on my video, so uh, I'm gonna do one now. Um today's gonna be a chest workout. Um uh, my chest has actually be, been like uh, a weakness of mine, so um this is a workout that really helped me build up my chest. First of all, um pre-activation. Uh, no, first of all, I did stretching. I use an uh, elastic band, make sure your shoulders, your lats, and even your chest is um, is warmed up, you know? Alright, now first movement, um, I call it a pre-activation movement. Um, I used to call it a pre-exhausting movement, but that's not really the right way to say it because you're not trying to exhaust your muscle, but you're trying to activate your muscle. Um, by activating the muscle, I meant like having a small pump. Um, by doing so, you're gonna have more blood in the chest. So after it, when you're gonna perform your other movements, you're gonna have a better mind-muscle connection just because you already have so much blood in your chest. Um, first big compound movement, um, I usually go with one of my weakness, um, the upper chest and the front delt. So I choose to do the 45 degrees incline um, dumbbell press. Um, I really try to focus on um, bringing my elbows out when I go down and bringing my elbows in when I go in. So this will make sure your chest is going to contract fully. Um, why I choose to do 45 degrees? Now a lot of people um, go to 30 degrees but I personally prefer 45. Um, but that's only like a personal preference plus um, I used to do a lot of powerlifting, so I, I'm like used to having a small curve on my lower back. So because of that curve, when I'm going to 45 degrees on the bench, um, it's not that inclined for me. Um, now, this is the last set, which I call the killer set. <laughs> um, you should definitely give it a try and you can do it like on every exercise. So basically you take a very very light dumbbell, um, you're trying to do 10 reps very slowly from the bottom of the movement to the middle of the movement. You do 10, you go up, then you do 10 more but from the top of the movement to the middle of the movement. After you're gonna rest 10 seconds and you're gonna perform 10 full reps. But uh, don't forget to uh, take your weight pretty light because you're really trying to uh, control the weight. You're not trying to just blast the weight, you know? All right, so um, next exercise, um, it's gonna be a flat chest press. Um, because my first exercise is more uh, upper chest focus, um, this one is gonna be uh, like a flat one. Why I choose to do the machine, it's because uh, the first one I use dumbbell free weight so my stabilizing muscle are probably already dead. So I'm trying to go on a machine to really focus on my chest. Um, now, this exercise, uh, I really like it because um, it makes sure that you don't have like muscle imbalance because you're doing one at a time. And the reason why like I prefer doing like the the hand 
already contracted even though it's not like working and um, for example this hand is like this and you're just trying to blast the weight it's because this chest is going to be contracted while this one is doing like contraction still you no know? so you're always like keeping the pump and uh, as you guys can see the pump wasn't real all right um now my camera went like all weird and shit so i lost a lot of footage but I did a cable flies, just like my first exercise, really, really slowly. But the reps um, are gonna do more. I'm gonna do like four times 15, I think. Um, I end up my workout with cardio, 15 to 30 minutes. But what I also did that it's not in this video is a uh, incline Smith machine, close grip, chest press, where you still focus on bringing your elbows out and elbows in. You're really gonna feel the contraction on your upper chest and. Honestly, on your, you're, you're gonna feel the contraction on your full chest. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like, comment what you want to see next, and um, share if you can. So, I'm gonna let this roll and uh, have a good day. See you next week. Bye, peace, whatever.